Hi! It's Patricia and Eric. Welcome to Holland. This is the first episode of our adventure and we decided to create this channel to share our journey with you. It might push you out of your comfort zone and you will start following your dreams. We were just so tired of waiting at home for the change and we were supposed to be right now in Israel because the past year we were preparing for the dance program in Israel but due to COVID-19 it was postponed for a second time so we decided that it's enough of waiting and we want to go just somewhere and rest off all the COVID thing and thanks to Eric's friends, Sarah and Diane, who owns here a small farm and restaurant, we got this last minute chance. It wasn't that easy because the requirements were changing so quick and we needed to be up to date every day, what we need to take with us and if we need COVID test or not. And first we just needed the working contract and at the end we needed to prove that we're essential workers for Finland. And hopefully working on farm and restaurant was enough. So today we will tell you about our travel and what exactly we are doing here. Traveling in pandemic is difficult. There are many things you need to consider before going. In our case Finland requires a negative COVID test or medical certificate that you are fully healed after COVID and of course a bad rhythm across the border. Our travel was a tricky task. We were super stressed before leaving because we heard about people who had all the required papers and still didn't get in and were returned on the border. We didn't know if we managed, as you see we did, so we only bought our flight tickets and then we were improvising after crossing border. The fastest way for us to Holland would be flight from Wroclaw to Stockholm or Turku and then ferry to Mariham, but we have pandemic now, so forget about the easy way. As far as I know, flights go only from major cities, so this is how our travel went. We took train from Wroclaw to Warsaw, then took flight to Helsinki and train from Helsinki to Turku and from Turku by ferry to Lagnas port on Oland. Which is not the main port, it's rather on the side in the middle of nowhere and also we arrived in the middle of the night after 19 hours of travel exhausted with three huge suitcases and two backpacks so the lady from Ferry was worried if we have someone to pick us up and hopefully Sarah and Jan came with car to pick us up and took us home Yeah. and we ended up in the cabin in the middle of forest <laughs> with <laughs> pitchy black night and uh, yeah hopefully we were just exhausted after travel so we went to sleep and we didn't notice that also, our bathroom is in the basement and it's quite creepy here in the night. But now, after a month, it's like chill. <laughs> we are used to it. Yeah. So, we managed with our travel. After working here for a few days, we realized it's totally worth it. Our travel cost already paid off and we have a brand new life. Yes, uh, we were rather city slickers than the farm people and here we have brand new work and we're close to the nature and it's really nice to have the change in life uh, especially in pandemic time when everything is closed and you need to wear your mask all the time so here we forget about the mask and everything because it's just us and the animals on the farm And speaking about the farm, what we exactly do here, uh, I would say it's more like work and travel on exchange for a place to stay. We take care of animals on the farm and also clean the farm and prepare the 
greenhouse for the springtime. So soon we will plant some seeds to grow plants, vegetables and fruits for summer that we're going to use in the Mari bar. And we have to take care of animals. We have chickens and rabbits here. So every day we check if they have water and we need to feed them. And it's really nice to see the recycling of the food here because uh, animals eat leftovers from sushi bar and then we use the leftovers from uh, animals to, uh, to fertilize the soil. Yeah, to fertilize the soil and then we will use vegetables from greenhouse in Mari bar. So it's the cycle of food. <laughs> And we have this opportunity and great chance to be part of it. We hope to share with you with more content from our farm life and Holland experience. And it's been already one month that we are here and we have some positive thoughts about Holland and Finland, about people here and life in general. Okay, so first time trying Memma which looks like brownie and then like she <laughs> Okay <laughs> I don't know if I can look at the food the same way I used to <laughs> But it's good! Yeah, when you put sugar to sheets it's always better <laughs> At least it's sugar <laughs> Once again to hide maybe a bit <laughs> and also we have some tips and we're glad that we took some things with us from Poland and it made our travel easier and probably cheaper so uh, if you want to hear more from us Stay updated and now we're going to take care of animals and see you soon. Bye! Bye.